It's not science fiction, it's what they do every day. And now they're doing it right here in the city of Hazleton. Is it for you? Find out right now, live at 5.30. From the Samsung Production Studios in the heart of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, it's your News 13. Hey again, everyone. Thanks for staying with us tonight live at 530. I'm Kristen Bozinski. After the city of Hazleton was left without an Air Force recruiter for the past two years, a new recruiter has come to town and he's looking for young, determined individuals. News 13 stopping by the Armed Forces Career Center Thursday morning to talk with Tech Sergeant Anthony Pasco. Sergeant Pasco's job is to bring awareness to the area about the Air Force and to introduce people to another avenue they can take in life. Uh, basically what we're doing here is we're just trying to look for certain young individuals that, you know, hold themselves to higher standards, kind of like we, we do here in the Air Force. Uh, you know, the regular core values like integrity, uh, service before self, excellence in all they do. You know, that's kind of what we're really looking for. And then that translates into being a good airman uh, in the United States Air Force. Sergeant Pasco tells us there are many perks to joining the Air Force, like free education. For more information, you can stop by Sergeant Pasco's office located at 8 West Broad Street right here in downtown Hazleton or call him at 454-9944. New at 530, the brakes on an SUV reportedly failed this afternoon, forcing the driver to hit two other cars, injuring both of those drivers. News 13 there at Broad and Vine Streets in downtown Hazleton right around 330. A gray colored SUV slammed into two cars and then continued up Broad, finally coming to a stop near the PNC Bank at Broad and Church Streets. The driver of the small red car was taken away by an ambulance along with the driver of a minivan. We're told the driver of that SUV that went out of control walked away from the accident uninjured. Traffic was held up in the area for about 20 minutes while police investigated and spoke to those involved in this city wreck. A total of four vehicles, three of which were parked, were heavily damaged Wednesday night after a Ford F-250 slammed into one of them, causing a domino effect. This was the outcome of the crash that happened on Peace Street in Hazleton, just north of 13th Street. Police tell us this blue truck hit a white Escape, pushing that into a red Mustang, pushing that into a silver Mazda CX-9. All four of the vehicles had to be towed from the scene. The driver of the truck, Joseph Kleeman of Alter Street, was taken to Hazleton General Hospital. Where our area desperately, desperately needs rain and a lot of it. It's dry and warm and the wind has been blowing pretty much every day. The perfect ingredients for a brush fire to break out. There have been many in the area and one that erupted today called for a battle on the ground and in the air. News 13 in Tresco, Carbon County, where a forest fire called for an airplane to fly over and drop water on a remote section of a wooded area out behind the Tresco Fire Company. Smoke could be seen for miles and firefighters had a tough time getting to the blaze by ground, which is why help from the air was needed. It took more than 30 minutes to bring the fire under control. At least six different fire companies were called out to help put the fire out. We are in the midst of brush fire season and it sure has earned its title this year, keeping firefighters very busy. Luckily, this blaze was not near any homes or structures. In Schuylkill County, officials are not risking anything, taking precautions against brush fires erupting in the first place. A 30-day burn ban is now in effect. County commissioners ordered that ban on all open fires and open burning. Low humidity, high winds, and little rain have dried out much of the county's land and forest. The ban should protect property and those emergency workers who have been responding to forest fires all over at any time. Residents violating the ban can face fines up to several hundred dollars. Parts of the valley here in Greater Hazleton also under mandatory burn bans right now. In addition to it being a high risk for brush fires, the lack of rain is quickly thrusting us into a drought situation. In Klein Township, Schuylkill County, customers were recently asked to stop washing their cars and watering their lawns. Everyone should try and conserve water until we get some significant rain. 
In other news tonight, the foul smell in one part of Foster Township has frustrated residents holding their nose and opening their mouths, letting officials know they're not happy. News 13 stopping by Foster Township Thursday morning to get some answers on the odor. Nick Detos of Citerio USA, a meat packing plant in the borough, wouldn't speak on camera but tells us Foster Township officials contacted him after residents complained to them. The majority of the smell is coming from State Route 940 near the plant and its sewage treatment facility. Earlier today, we're told an outside firm arrived to evaluate and correct the problem. Detos told us the situation would be taken care of by the end of today, which is a good thing for the residents considering the warmer the weather gets, the stronger that smell could also get. Well, today's weather was picnic perfect. Let's hope it carries over into the weekend. We'll take a look at the forecast for the rest of the week coming up. But first, our Jasmine Brooks takes a trip to visit some furry friends in need of a loving home in this week's edition of Adopt Me. Stay with us. It's time for the Movie Minute on News 13, your weekly look at what's playing at Regal Cinema 10 just outside the Laurel Mall. Some new flicks hitting the big screen this weekend, including The Lucky One. A U.S. Marine sergeant returns from his third tour of duty in Iraq with the one thing he credits with keeping him alive, a photograph he found of a woman he doesn't even know. A romance developed between them, giving him hope that she could be much more than his lucky charm. Also hitting theaters, Think Like a Man, the story follows four interconnected and diverse men whose love lives are shaken up after the ladies they are pursuing buy a book and start taking its advice to heart. They conspire using the book's insider information to turn the tables and teach the women a lesson of their own. For all the showtimes at Regal Cinema 10, call 450-7454 or to speak to a movie attendant, call 450-7340. And to find the entire Regal Cinema schedule and movie showing times, visit our website at ssptv.com. For this week's Adopt Me, we are back at the Hazleton Animal Shelter. I am here with Chris Barkanik and my new little friend. She's adorable, but guess what? She does not have a name. And the reason I picked her is because she's so sweet. She's a little lap dog and she was shaking in her cage and she's the kind of dog that I think anybody would be happy to welcome in their home. So Chris, tell me a little bit about this one. Well, she came in from McAdoo. She was a stray found running on the street and uh, she's very nice when you get to know her, but she's a bit standoffish at first. She's a little nervous around strangers, so she needs someone to go up and warm up to her. And definitely someone with a lot of love to give. Absolutely. Now, you said she has good energy, but she's not wild, you know, she's, right. she's pretty calm. Yeah, she has a lot of energy to love, but she doesn't jump around a lot. She's not a nuisance. She's very, uh, very easy to take care of, pretty docile. And again, she needs a name, right? Yes, she does. So someone needs to come down here and adopt her and call her something. <laughs> and I don't know, she seems like what? Under 10 pounds, I would say. Yeah, she's probably no more than uh, eight and a half pounds. And you can see how friendly she is. She's so lovable and tiny, and I just love her. So here she is, this week's dog. All right, now we're bringing it into the cat colony. And what I said to these kitty cats, I said, whoever purrs the loudest is the one we're going to showcase this week. So Rupert won, and Rupert is about three to four years old. He's absolutely adorable. So what can you tell me about Rupert? Well, Rupert is very friendly. He uh, gets along well with other, other cats and loves people. He's a domestic short hair, already neutered. You see, he loves to be held uh -huh. and cuddled. And he's fairly large. Again, I told you very last large. week, I love big cats. Yeah, he's practically a tiger. <laughs> all right, so here he is, Rupert. And it's important that you know all the animals here at the Hazleton Animal Shelter are spayed or neutered before they are taken to a home. So if you have love in your heart and your home, stop on down for a visit. For this week's Adopt Me, I'm Jasmine Brooks, and I'll send it back to you in the studio. Jasmine, thank you so much. I'm glad to say that I own a little kitty cat that I adopted from the Hazleton Animal Shelter. Well, it was a perfect day to play with our furry friends outside. Before we head outdoors to take a look at our four-day forecast, how about we check out today's creative condition? This week's picture, or tonight's picture, I should say, was sent to us by Jeremy Ferreira from the Hazleton Elementary Middle School. 
Thank you so much to Jeremy for sharing this awesome artwork with us. And let's take a look at your four day outlook right now. Partly cloudy skies with a low down to 46 degrees is what's ahead for the rest of tonight. Here is your four day outlook Friday. We see partly sunny skies. 67 will be our high. We'll dip down to 50. Saturday and Sunday is where that rain is coming into play. We see showers with a high up to 60 on Saturday. Sunday 53 will be our high and you see the lows down into the 40s. On Monday, look for it to be a chance of showers with a high near 50 and we'll see the temp dipping down to 36 degrees on your Monday night with again a chance of showers and get this one possibly some snow showers mixing in with that rain on Monday night. I don't want to hear the word snow anymore, but tonight's forecast brought to you by the Lazy Dog Salon, Dog and Cat Grooming, North Broad Street, West Hazleton. Give your puppy dog or kitty cat a nice little haircut before the hot weather hits at 459-0310 to make an appointment. And you have X Detail Plus Auto Center, 11th Street and North Church Street between Laurel and Church Streets. Call to make an appointment at 450-0959 or 956-0251. And moving on tonight, in less than one week, voters will head to the polls. Primary election day is set for April 24th. And for our Schuylkill County viewers, it's a very important day. And candidates are out and about for last minute meet and greets with voters. News 13 catching up with Senator Dave Argel and State Representative Jerry Knowles as they campaigned in Schuylkill County at the Keystone Fire Company in McAdoo. The Republican Committee of McAdoo is backing the two candidates as they face opposition in the primary election. We feel very good. Uh, people tell me uh, here in McAdoo and Tamaqua and elsewhere in the district that our message is getting through. Uh, people really like the fact that I'm working to eliminate the school district property tax. I think they were somewhat shocked when my opponent uh, came out against my idea. He calls it poppycock. I've said, well, maybe he doesn't have trouble paying his school district property taxes, but a lot of the people that I represent really have trouble coming up with that bill, and they understand that the tax just doesn't make any sense. And so it's time to, uh, to scrap that, that, that terrible tax and, and come up with a new plan. We've been working very hard. Uh, we're running on our record. I, I think we have a good record, a very, uh, a, a very conservative record. You know, we've, uh, we've been very successful at uh, holding the line on taxes. We've been very successful at reducing spending. And uh, you know, the bottom line is that you gotta live within your means and that's exactly what we need to, do, need to do in state government. It's important for them to have a chance to talk to the candidates and for them to be here and to see the sample ballot. So that's why we had it. Senator Argel is going head to head with Schuylkill County businessman Brian Rich, while Representative Knowles is being challenged by Larry Padora, a councilman in New Ringgold. Both candidates tell News 13 that they're glad to see the campaign coming to an end because it's tough continuing to work for their constituents while at the same time campaign and meet with voters. Remember to exercise your right to vote on April 24th. Polls open at 7 a.m. Next, we'll talk baseball, softball, and tennis action and a whole lot more with our Freddie B. Plus, we'll tell you all about a new program from PennDOT that's helping improve safety on our roadways. It's all coming your way next. Stay with us. 14,200. That's the number of car crashes that took place in Pennsylvania just last year. Most of these involved a distracted driver, making road safety a hot topic, especially since nearly all of these accidents could have been prevented. As we know, driving is a serious business that requires complete and full attention of those behind the wheel. That's why PennDOT has launched Just Drive PA as a part of National Distracted Driving Awareness Month. It's aimed at improving safety on our roadways. The Just Drive slogan reinforces that distractions, driving impaired, and other unsafe driving behaviors have no place on our roadways. In 2011, this safety effort reinforces the need to drive carefully, wear seatbelts, and look out for other travelers while always avoiding distractions like texting. The Just Drive website can be found at www.justdrivepa.com and features a distracted driving page that highlights Pennsylvania's new anti-texting law as well as the dangers of distracted driving. 
That'll do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Thursday. You can catch this newscast again with a rebroadcast throughout tonight or just simply go to News 13's website, ssptv.com. That's where you're going to find everything Hazleton and beyond. It's all just a click away. On behalf of your News 13 team, be safe. We'll see you back here for TGIF, everyone. Good night.